just about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive these into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Four Ladies years, the difference in age between these two fighters. Some Bombay differences in height and reach as well. All right, evening. now for the particulars. When Here's the Bruce begins, Our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Abu! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch gloves and we are underway. There, good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. Oh, nice jab. Oh, there's the swing and there's the miss by Albu. That kick blocked by Lee. Big kick land. Just missing on the high kick there. Albu gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. 
Looking to set up that head kick again. This one does not find the home. Oh, it's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike very effectively. Oh, strong punch there by Luke. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see as the opponent starts to slow down, he cannot take many of those kicks. Under two minutes to go. And both fighters have changed in the pocket. He is all about that left kick to the body. Lee gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Oh, nice right hand. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes him stop throwing. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Real sneaky body kick. 20 seconds left. Outstanding kick there by Lee. Now going upstairs with the left hook. Five minutes in the books. signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, round two is now upon us. Pretty competitive first five Ready. minutes, I thought. It's exactly what we expected. We expected when we saw this on the match sheet that these two guys would be match. Let's see who really takes You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Big body to land. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Nice head kick. Just out of range with that left hook. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Oh, nice job there. To deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. you got to defend. But you can see him now start the game posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It starts to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Anybody kick may finish his fight. It does not have to be the front one up the middle. Trying to establish that jab once again. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, oh kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Spinning back fist. Both sides with conviction. And he lands.
lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight for him. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see? Both of the guys really picking up on the action, putting their foot on the gas, and really starting to drive it home as we approach the end of the fight, and we're still so evenly matched, and the fight has been so close to this point. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Big kick lands. Lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, big kick lands flush. That's some power there. That shot blocked by Albu. Oh! He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Can't take many of those, you better check. Oh, oh, that, was He's rocked. that was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. And just misses with that big right hand. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Up here to stun him. Oh! It up going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Big. Oh, dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, and just like that, the fight is over. He got him. Oh, my goodness, what a fight. A near perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So, just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at 3 minutes, 13 seconds of the third round. Playing the winner by knockout. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that will listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did.